Hello everybody, today we are going to play Operation Sea Lion in mode hard. We're going first to put a good navy general, or my best, Fletcher. And we are also going to use a tank general in the medium tank tier 3, uh, tier 2, sorry. That you can see here behind the city. And I'm going to use Krera, he is my first my third best general in tank and like always in the after game I'm going to use some generals that are not necessary but and I'm but I'm just going to use them because um to make it faster to win but I think you could also get three stars on it also with not all these generals at the end And here, as the city is open, or not open, but as the city is has with no units, I'm just going to attack it. And then we can paratrooper it. Luckily, destroyers and cruisers are very good against cities, but not really against units. But still. So we surrounded the armor car. It does not know why it cannot go, go back to the city. I'm also going to put down the trading market in this city here. And also, I am I'm also going to spam some submarines. Sorry, my screen time. Um, in some rounds. Always just stuck one. It's more important to have two submarines than one submarine in tier 3. Because you can shoot more often with two submarines than with one, even if it's stronger. So we're going to try to um, go into water with our troops here at the west and we also when we are going to land um west to the city of that's be between Plymouth and London I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Plymouth right but I've never heard about the city so we're first going to surround the destroyer and to take down the morale as you see here on the bird, and now we can shoot on it. And with our cruisers, we're also going to try to get down all the submarines. And after the submarines, we're going to attack the, the other navy units. But first the submarines. I often do that. Alright, we're ready to go into water. Okay, I'll also try to keep Mountbatten away um, and to distract him with my navy um, units. And I think I should put down a cruiser with our general in it. It's going to be NASA and he's got two stars in navy. But I don't. I think a uh, cruiser tier three, uh, tier two, could also do it without general. And I think Fletcher is not necessary. You can also take a random navy general. All right, everybody now is going into water, and try also just to go into water when you're sure that you've got enough um, ships and that you control the situation as here I've got more ships than my opponents and so I'm going to then go into water as we are better than, him, than them and we can also distract them and we're trying to put them to the east because we're going first to go to the west 
or to the middle of the game play and then suddenly we're going to push to the right so that they have to retreat to the right too and then they are all at the border of the east while our normal land troops can land here to the city and take it our allies will also take Plymouth and perhaps we it's open and we can paratroop it or we have to bomber it first when we see that the city is at low health Rundstedt is in a medium tank, so I don't really understand this decision, but anyways. I think Rundstedt in a mechanized infantry would be better than in a um, in a medium tank. So now we're going to try to take this port here. I'm first going to put away this, um, this anti-submarine thing. So that it cannot shoot on our submarines, while a submarine shoot on a cruiser, so that we can take the port. And then we're going to push Mount Batten next to the city with the other cruiser. And then we're going to try to take each field around them, so that they can't ex escape. So now I go with Fletcher into the port and so that I can shoot with him on the city. And then when we have pushed um, Mountbatten away, I'm also going to shoot with our cruiser on the city while our, um, while our submarines are going to attack Mountbatten. So I meant it like that, that Mountbatten is here, he's nearly um, surrounded. We just need one more submarine that can put him here inside. I don't think I, c I can paratrooper so far, no. But they didn't build anything in the city. Perhaps it was programmed like that, so that they can't take, uh, can't produce units in the city to defend it. Okay, now we're going to push Mountbatten somewhere where he can't escape. He's got pretty good skills. Okay, now we're going to take down his um, submarines with our cruisers. Because the cruisers are the only units here in the game that we have that can shoot on the submarines without getting hit back. And I don't like submarines as opponents because they can shoot you with no retaliation and I really don't like this. That's why I often put um, kill first uh, the artillery and the submarines. Okay, we've got this city here. I think now that Mountbatten has dug his tomb himself. If Donitz is a bit smart, then he's going to surround him and to let him go no, um, nowhere. I don't know. So we're going to put down the morale of this light tank so that we can attack it. Luckily, the light tank is on a mountain, so he has got minus 20%. Okay, now Mountbatten can't escape. Alright, we've got those two. And also, as our navy now can't help us, apart if there are some units approaching the beach, that we can attack them. They can't do anything. So we're going to attack everything that we can attack with our um, units. So the financial center here. I think it's a good strategy to land first on this city, and then to attack with some troops, Plymouth, if you can't bomber it, or if it's just not in reach, then send a light tank or an armored car, because those two have a lot of mobility. I send them to Plymouth and take over the city so that you have a bigger income. And now round 15 and they have only got 
um, London left. I mean, London can produce a lot, a lot, but I don't think it's going to let them build enough troops to hold it if Doding is dead. So I'm going to put Bagramyan so that he can clear out the way, especially of this land fort here. So that then I can put down an artillery and go f to London without being scared of the land fort. So that's why I'm first going to um, put away this land fort. And also the silly artillery that dared to come here on my way. Okay, I think I should attack the light tank. But... With the artillery, the land fort, with no retaliation. Okay. Now, it would be cool if you can sell some units, because like now, I would sell all my navy troops. Okay, I'm going to attack here. Doding. Even if the tank is on a um, on a tree field, which makes him minus ten percent, I'm going to go there because otherwise the I would be in the reach of the land fort. Okay, I don't think Konev is necessary too. Perhaps you should. I think Bagramian would be nice if you would have a troop like him. But he's not necessary too, you don't have to put a tank general, you can also put a normal general in infantry or something like that. Kona's shoot right now here was pretty impressive. I mean, I like Konev because of his skill. I'm going to upgrade it from 8% to 16%. Nice. 